Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to episode 761 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Equinix's DigiVault has seen a 30-fold increase in assets under custody. Canada Computational Unlimited has increased its hash rate and reported some other results. And Valkyrie has proposed an ETF based on NASDAQ-listed Bitcoin companies. Just before we get into the show, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, to please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, as well as many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so DigiVault, this is the digital asset custody business of Equinix Limited, which trades on the NASDAQ as EQOS, has reported a 30-fold increase in its assets under custody in the 2021 calendar year, owing to strong demand for accredited and regulated crypto industry service providers. DigiVault CEO Robert Cooper said, quote, The value of digital assets, along with the technology infrastructure that it supports, can no longer be ignored, as reflected in the landmark increases in cryptocurrency participation we saw in 2021. But this increase in participation also put the spotlight on the risks of security breaches and hacks. Our business growth reflects this growing awareness by industry participants to be far more discerning in choosing accredited and regulated service providers. In the year ahead, we will maintain our focus on lifting the industry standards, driving greater awareness of ways to safely participate in the marketplace, and by protecting our customers by continuing to expand the list of assets we are able to securely store for them. End quote. Canada Computational Unlimited Corp., which trades on the TSXV under the ticker SATO, has increased its hash rate by 269% from 63.65 petahash per second to 235 petahash per second in the month of December from the previous year. The company has also announced that it has increased CapEx expenditures, which represent an investment of over $4 million dollars in current and future infrastructure. The company has also recorded a 220% increase of year-over-year estimated revenues and minted 57 Ether in 2021. The company's CEO and chairman, Roman Nuzareth, said, quote, The recent findings and our investment in infrastructure demonstrate that we are continuing to hit our targets and building shareholder value. The fact that we were able to navigate through all the market volatility and stay on track is a testament to our team and determination, and of course, our shareholders and their confidence and support. I look forward to this next quarter as we continue to ramp up our operations and reinforce that SATO leads with efficiency and transparency. End quote. Cointelegraph reports that Valkyrie, a crypto asset manager, has filed an application with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, to trade an exchange-traded fund with exposure to Bitcoin mining firms on the NASDAQ stock market. This ETF will not invest directly in Bitcoin, but rather in securities of companies that derive at least 50% of their revenues or profits from either Bitcoin mining or providing hardware or software related to Bitcoin mining. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, 
Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and most audio platforms available.